The successes of Robson and McClare, Bruce and Pallister, Keane and Beckham, Van Nistelrooy, Cole, Stan, Schmeichel, Van der Sar. Old Trafford waits to bow. Bow to a man who will never make this walk again. And who has never made this walk like this. A ceremony fit for a king. There is only one. There will never be another. And he will never walk this walk again. For a generation and more, at each week's appointed hour, he has scuttled out over his white line. did it his way. His unmistakable gait and stride, his understated smile, his wave, simply the last step of his journey into work. In August, almost unthinkably, it will be someone else. history maker, the best, bar none. A day which even he must enjoy, <laughs> he's being subbed off. And those around him, how can these supporters who week by week, month by month, year by year, decade by decade have queued up to get just a little part of him, how can they, in their own small way, not feel the hand of history on their shoulder? What a privilege for the people who've bought their ticket, what a privilege for the players of Manchester United to represent the club on this day. Some long-serving, some first-time champions, some perhaps themselves for the last time. Many ready for the challenge of a new season under new management. But that is for tomorrow. And so the team news, and any other day, the only story in town would be Wayne Rooney's complete exclusion from the Manchester United 18. He is fit, he is not picked. Paul Scholes is, for the first time in the Premier League this calendar year, of course it is his big retirement day as well. Phil Jones plays at full-back in place of the suspended Raphael, and it's somehow right that Ferdinand and Vinic, the Bruce and Pallister of their age, are together at centre-back today in front of the restored De Gea. For Swansea, the top line is that Michu is fit again, sooner than anticipated. Nice that, one of this season's great success stories. He replaces Schechter. Michel Vaughan hasn't sufficiently recovered from the head injury he sustained at Wigan in the week, so Gerhard Chevel keeps goal. Neil Taylor returns at left full back his first start since breaking his ankle in September. Nathan Dyer replaces Angel Rangel in midfield, and Chico Flores comes in for Gary Monk at centre-back. <laughs> More than 
nine and a half thousand days in charge of Manchester United. From next week, though, Fergie time will only be told on a carriage clock. And much as he must have anticipated, and to some extent, he enjoyed the adulation. Sir Anxu's glance over his shoulder, Craig Burley tells you everything you need to know, and that is that he considers the game the most important thing, but he, he doesn't want to miss the kickoff, does he? Kick looking around, he had so many, so many autographs to sign, and he's kind of trying to uh, please everybody, but uh, it's very difficult at times, it's, uh, yeah, it must be an emotional day for him, there's a great atmosphere here, very much a party atmosphere, but there's a game of football to be had, and and this United side will want to go out on a high and Swansea after a fantastic season Peter and to win at a League Cup will want to finish here at the home uh, of Manchester United with the three points I think it's actually going to be a very good game and I think Fergie as ever will be looking for a performance Yes we have two of this season's major trophy winners as it happens the League Cup winners in Swansea against the league champions again in Manchester United. 13th time, the champions of the Barclays Premier League in the year 2013. So set your watch.